welcome back to the Ask Rebecca radio show. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone had a great week. Um, so last week I had predicted that it would be an emotional week. And I did hear back from a few of you about having high emotions. And uh, just to share with my, my own story, I myself was pretty moody on Saturday and some of Sunday. And I even had mentioned last week that there may be a few like public meltdowns by some drama queens. Well, um, hello, guilty. Uh, that was me on Saturday. I completely had a mini meltdown because I was extremely hangry. And for those of you that don't know what hangry is, that's basically angry and hungry together. Uh, thankfully, my hubby is a pro at handling me hangry, so uh, he fed me and everything was fine in the world, but I did have a little mini meltdown beforehand, so um, hopefully everybody else fared a little bit better than, than I did. Um, let's just get right into this week's predictions. So tonight, um, the predictions run from tonight through to next Thursday, February 1st. These are general predictions for everyone in areas of work, love, finances, health, and spirituality. So the general themes that I'm kind of feeling is one of them is adventure. So there's an element of excitement and adventure to your life this week. Uh, to me, it feels like it's fresh energy coming in. So some of you, I feel like, will be taking some risks this week to improve your lives. Um, some of you, I feel like you'll be stepping outside of your comfort zone. And it kind of feels like it's going to be different areas for everyone. So for some, it feels like you know, you're taking a risk and doing a little bit of adventure within the... Uh, work area, some it will be love, some spiritually, um, or any other kind of situation or place in your life that, you know, comes up for you during the week. But either way, it, it just kind of feels like there's going to be something um, exciting kind of happening. So put yourself out there, be fearless. You can always choose differently if you're not happy with the outcome. Um, however, I feel like several of you, you'll be happy with the outcome. Like, you know, usually when we take some healthy risks, we're rewarded handsomely with it. So, um, don't be afraid, go for it. Now, some of you, I feel like, um, will be physically going on adventures. And some of the things that came to mind were like a scavenger hunt or maybe somebody's going to try hang gliding or skydiving or you're going to go roller skating or just something like adventurous like that where you're actually doing something that's kind of um you know physical in nature so it could be anything for you uh it doesn't necessarily need to be um hang gliding but it's going to be something um exciting so again, either way, I feel like everyone's going to experience some fresh energy and some sort of adventure this week. Um, so enjoy that when it comes your way. There's also a feeling of being reborn this week. I just feel like several of you are coming off of some tough years, um, some tough internal and physical transformations that you've been going through over the last several years, uh, especially the last two years. So I feel like this week, it's kind of like you're the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Um, and this energy comes around, uh, you know, a couple of times a year. A year. So again, it, this energy of newness, I feel like it's building and you'll feel it all week long. Um, I just feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling like a new version of yourself. You're feeling more connected to yourself, feeling more true to yourself. So it's a newer, truer you. Um, I do feel like people all around are going to be hearing references to the Phoenix, Phoenix rising out of the ashes. I, I feel like it's even going to be heard on the news. So maybe some news anchors will be talking about something and they'll be using that term. Um, or you'll hear other people in conversation uh, saying, you know, Phoenix rising out of the ashes, something to that effect. I just feel like it's going to be around. So um, keep your ears open. 
And some of it may be during some really great conversations or really bring some meaning into your life when you hear somebody else talking about it. This week, you could find yourself flipping something over. Um, and flipping over, I mean, like literally and figuratively, I do feel like some of you will be turning over stones and books or clutter. Like, I feel like, I feel like you're looking for a lost item and you're frantically like flipping things over and like looking underneath things, um, you know, digging through like all the stuff you maybe you have laying on your table or your kitchen counter or a drawer or, you know, you're just kind of searching and it. And it feels like some of you are going to be looking for keys. Some of you are looking for some sort of paperwork. Um, and some of the paperwork felt like it would be maybe the size of almost like a business card or a little bit bigger. And then some of you are going to be looking for actual like document size uh, paper. Um, and then I also felt like there may be a few, maybe one or two that might be possibly looking for a missing pet. Um, yeah, it just kind of feels like, I kind of feel like there's going to be someone that's going to be looking for a dog and somebody that's looking for a cat. And then there's a feeling of something about a squirrel. So I don't know. It'll be if if any of that ends up pertaining to you, um, message me, you know, shoot me a text or send me an email because I'm curious what the squirrel has to do with everything. Um, uh, so either way, like when you're looking for something, when you're, when, you know, I do feel like you guys are going to find what you're looking for. For some of you, it feels like, you know, you'll find it within a few minutes. And for some of you, it feels like a few hours. Um, now figuratively, I feel several of you are going to be flipping over a situation, a perception, a relationship, an old way of doing things, or like something, maybe even your entire life. Like, I, I feel like there's one person out there that's just like, you know what? I am done. I am going to go completely rogue and I'm going to do a complete like 360 and I'm going to just change everything in my life. And you just do it with ease and grace. And, um, you know, it, it's going to vary from person to person. So we'll see how it plays out for you. Now, uh, many of you, I feel like are going to be uh, choosing to be responsible for yourself, others, and the planet this week. So, you know, to me, it just feels like you're going to choose to, to see how everything is connected to yourself, like how everything is affecting you in one way or another, um, even though it's outside of yourself in some way. Right. So, um, oh, and I also felt like the color magenta is going to be around you. So magenta is kind of like a purplish maroonish color, um, not quite purple, not quite maroon, kind of in between. Um, and I feel like that's going to be around a lot because this is, is connected to like deeper states of love, like a pure, true love is like being activated within you. So I almost feel like one, that color energy is going to be running through everybody this week, um, and you'll just see it reflected outside of yourself as well. And I do feel like a couple of you that meditate and get into some um, decent meditation sessions, I kind of feel like that's going to be the color scheme that you're seeing when your eyes are closed and you can just see it, you know, swirling through you. I, it should be kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, some potential issues this week that may pop up for some um, of you. I feel like it's, you're feeling like you can do everything on your own. And I feel like it's a habit. It's something that you're, you know, you're just used to doing everything on your own. So now you don't know how to let people help you with anything. So that feeling, I, I feel like is going to be strong. And it's going to also be another issue is going to be not being aware of potential sources of assistance available to you or seeing the generosity available to you or the capacity to which you need to be generous to others. So that's kind of going to be a theme right there. 
Um, and remember, like, generosity isn't just about giving money. It's about, you know, generosity is your time. It's your support. It's, you know, other things besides hard cash money. Patience is also going to be uh, important this week. I feel like some of you are are going to be trying to force things or hurry them along this week. Uh, if you catch yourself doing this, try to stop and relax. Uh, you know, forcing is like pushing. Try to remember that when you're forcing something, you're actually pushing it. So you're actually pushing away what you want, right? You're pushing it away from you. So try to remember when you get into these force forcing things or hurrying or rushing, like you're doing yourself a disservice, just try to remember to be open and be patient and allow things to come to you. Um, now that doesn't mean, you know, sitting around doing nothing, you still have to have action steps, but you take the steps you need and then you sit back and you wait for things to manifest, not push, push, push. Um, some of you, I feel like you've you've been sitting around waiting. I just I just feel like this energy of you just simply been waiting and not moving forward in any way. And I feel like some of you, maybe you're you've been waiting on others or a situation to change, but I feel like you're wasting precious time and energy. And I feel like those of you that are in this sort of situation, I feel like this week you'll finally choose to let go of what you've been waiting on um, and, and you're, you're done waiting and you're ready to move forward for yourselves and you deserve better. So do it, you know, do follow your heart. Stop waiting on other people. Um, some I feel like we'll be dealing with guilt this week as well. Most of the guilt that's going to be coming up for you, I feel like stems from the past, but I do feel um, for some of you, it's going to come up in the now. So I feel like there's going to be a moment where you're going to do something this week that could cause you to feel guilty. Now, for those of you that, you know, are dealing with it from the past that comes up this guilt issue, I feel like you just need to learn from the guilt and then vow not to repeat the same choice in the future. Now, those of you that um, I feel like are going to end up feeling guilty about something this week, I would just caution you or ask you to be aware of the present moment of every day or, you know, try to be as conscious and present in your day-to-day -day activities so that you can catch yourself before you make the choice that leads you to feeling guilty. Uh, and I feel like some of you are going to be able to do that. I do feel like there's a few of you, you won't be able to catch yourself and you're going to act impulsively. And then later you're going to feel guilty. If that happens, don't beat yourself up about it. Again, learn from it and move forward. Those of you that uh, are working, um, I feel like some of you will be on the receiving end of a coworker's time, attention and information to help you with a task at work. Um, I feel like it's going to have you feeling more positive and happy at work this week. And I feel like some of you will be the ones giving of your time, attention, and information to a co coworker, and just know that has a huge impact on this person and is helping them feel better at work. Um, some of you, I feel like you're waiting on decisions by others, and a few of you, I feel like you might find yourselves getting into a, a disagreement at work, um, or you, or you may be a person at work that witnesses other people getting into a disagreement at work. Either way, try to stay calm and patient during the disagreement. This week, um, for those of you that are looking for a job, I'm not really feeling too much happening on the job search front. I do feel like it's going to be a week for um, those of you that are looking to practice patience and just do what you can. But I do feel like you need to be applying for jobs you wouldn't normally apply for um, because you think you're not qualified. I think those are the ones that you need to kind of put your feelers out. You know, again, it, take a risk, take that adventure, take that leap. Love, um, committed relationships. I feel like this week a, a few minor things could come up in relationships. It feels like um, a disagreement about who's giving more and receiving less in the relationship. Um, if you are the one feeling like you're not getting enough and you're expecting more out of the relationship, I feel like stop yourself and, and instead of engaging in an argument, maybe make a list of what you want more of, what you're getting and what you're giving to the other person and then do a little bit of a comparison to see, you know, take a real assessment and, and, and see what you're giving and what you're contributing and what 
the other person is and kind of do the pros and cons. Um, another minor issue I feel like will be jealousy. So I feel like it's going to pop up some way, somehow this week in your relationship. You could be on the giving or receiving end and maybe even both. Those of you looking for love, um, I feel like you'll also be dealing with jealousy this week. Try not to let it take, take over. Um, and also, I feel like some of you that are still struggling with opening yourselves up to love, I feel like this week you'll have some progress in mending your heart and allowing, you know, allowing the walls to come down some more, which is just prepping you to put yourself out there and to finally really start dating. Finances, increase is available to several of you, but not in the way that you expect. Um, I feel like you need to consider other ways in which you could make money, um, or there's even places where you can cut expenses to save money. And um, I do feel like um, some of you could even be considering some side businesses that you could start. Either way, for everyone, patience and long-term thinking will do everyone well this week in finances. Health, some of you, I feel like, will be more open to solutions to your health issues that you're having. Uh, I feel like some of you have, haven't been open to trying everything and anything, and this week, I feel like some of you finally will. Some of you also have been feeling anxious and fearful about things for a while, and it's contributing to your failing health. Uh, practice lowering your stress level. Try working on getting out of your head all the time. Maybe take on meditation or something to that effect spirituality this week you know being human is being human and fallible is a beautiful um allow yourself to be humble to fail to learn and to grow otherwise you know it could make for a rough week and a rough life like you you've got to be a little flexible with yourself and and know that it's okay as long as you're learning from these things um i do feel like meditation stillness contemplation focus determination cooperation um, will be extremely helpful to you this week and every week, really. Um, and I think that, you know, overall, everybody's going to have a really successful week. So that wraps up the predictions for this week. I hope everybody has a great week. And let's see, um, we're going to take my caller here. Let me see where I'm at. Uh, hi, Janet. In, is it Chelan, Washington? Yes, Washington? it is. It is yes. Chelan. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. I'm notorious for butchering thing names. So, uh, so how are you? How can I help you this evening, Janet? Well, I've uh, come to a crossroads in my life. My mom and I, where she's going to be going into a, a nursing home, and um, um, I find that I, I don't have any help or support in this, and um, I'm just all up in the air about all of this, and I just don't know what to do and how uh, I'm going to handle all of it. You, you, you are a lot stronger than you give yourself credit for. I mean, you've been taking care of her. I feel like she's got memory issues. Is it surrounding memory? Is she dealing with like Alzheimer's? She does have some memory issues. Yes. Okay, yeah, it feels like there's some memory stuff going on. Um, also, with her, I feel, I don't know if it's her or maybe you or both of you, but um, forgetting to take medication. Is she not taking her medication and you have to, like, stay on her about making sure to take the medication? Well, they've changed her medications because... Um, um, they had them all screwed up, and it 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 made her life a lot harder than it should have been. And uh, but she's uh, she's weak, and she needs to go into nursing home. And there's just so many things to do, and it's just really hard right now. Okay, so I I do feel like I I feel like the transition is not going to be as. Um, as difficult as it, as you're, you know, you're a little anxious about it. I know there's a lot of like paperwork involved and a lot of things involved to get her from, from your, you know, get her into the nursing home. But I feel like it's going to happen. Um, 
Uh, have you already started the process? Because I kind of feel like she's going to be, I feel like it's almost waiting for a space to maybe even open up or I, it kind of feels like she wouldn't be able to go until like February or maybe even the beginning of March. Oh, um, I was told that they had a, a bed open for her already, but oh. that may not be the case. Well, if they told you that, then, then it may be the case. I just kind of felt like she was going to be in place and comfortable transition by like February latest would be the first week of March. So if they have yeah. it, if they have it, then, you know, I say go for it. What is it? Right. I, I do feel like you have. Okay, so I feel like there's people around you. And there, it feels like there's some people that are like causing like some stumbling blocks that are making situations more difficult for you to get things accomplished. But then I feel like there's somebody else that maybe you're not really looking to or realize that somebody could actually help you with getting your mom situated in the nursing home. Um, yeah. Does any of that resonate with you? Yeah, maybe so. Um, just uh, people that I don't know very well. It's just hard to reach out to other people. I'm looking for pe family to help me, and that's not going to be the case, I, I, I'm afraid. I, yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like anybody in the family is going to help. Um, they're all a little, I don't know if it's just, self-absorbed or just afraid to get involved in some way but I do feel like um it's somebody that is more of a friend and and it, it almost feels more like an acquaintance um and it feels like this person could actually be connected to the nursing home um oh. Is there like a counselor? It feels like somebody that is like a, um, yeah, it kind of feels like almost like a counselor type person or do they have that at the nursing home? Have you spoke with anyone like that? Um, there is a woman that's working with um, getting mom into the home and there is an acquaintance uh, that was helping my mom before and she might be able to help me with the moving, I guess. I don't know. I, I do, I do feel, yes. Don't be afraid to ask. Don't okay. be afraid to ask. I think you'll be surprised because I do feel like, um, who the two people you were just talking about, I feel like are going to be very helpful to you. Um, and will help make the transition with your mom a lot easier. Um, as far as, Okay, so having to move her, are you concerned about having to, like, physically move heavy items or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and where okay. to put them. I, I'm sorry, what was the last part you said? Um, moving her furniture and, and where to put them because I can't take them and I don't know what to do with with her her belongings. Okay, so some of the furniture... I feel like she can, um, so I'm seeing, I'm seeing young guys um, that are gonna help you move this furniture and help even, you know, I don't know how attached she is to certain things, but I definitely feel like there's some stuff that you could sell. I feel like she may have more things than she actually needs. Um, so I feel like some stuff you can sell, but as far as physically helping you move things and do stuff, I, I see a couple of younger guys and I feel like they're connected to, um, I don't know if it's a high school or a college, but I feel like there's somebody that's going to be able to help you get their their teenage or grown son. Like, I feel like there's somebody that's going to have these kids to help you um and I feel are you on social media at all yeah okay so uh, I even yeah. I, I kind of feel like you might 
on social media, if you put, hey, you know, looking for a couple of um, strong young guys to come help move my mom, you know, I can offer you pizza and beer or, or well, not if they're in high school, of course, but, uh, <laughs> you know, something like that. And I feel like you're going to get positive feedback to help you. You know, the people want right. to help, especially strangers. Sometimes our family sucks and they don't want to help. Yeah. I understand. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you're going to get the help. You've just got to um, not be afraid to put yourself out there and, and ask for the help, okay? There's people that are willing to help you. Um, some of the furniture, I feel like you can actually replace some of your furniture with. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's some stuff that you might need you know, that she has that's still in good shape that you can replace some of the stuff that you have. Um, I feel like it's going to be okay, Janet. I really do. Do you have any, I have 90 seconds left. Is there anything else that you want, you want to talk about or you want me to look at the situation a little bit more? Or? Yeah. My financial situation, where I'm going, um, I just don't know where I'm going <laughs> in the next, this next year, is it getting any better for me? The next year is going to get better for you. You're going to have some pressure taken off of you once you get mom transitioned into the nursing home. Um, financially, I feel like you will have an increase. I feel like you're going to figure out some ways to get a little bit of money under your belt. The one thing, I, I only have 60 seconds left, but the one thing I wanted to tell you about money was um, I'm getting for you to check your receipts and statements so that you can, there may be a mistake that could save you money. There's something about making sure you check your receipts and your bank statements. Um, Janet, I, I'm wishing you the best of luck. I only have 15 seconds. Um, I'm sending you lots of love to you and your mom. I'm going to send out energy so that you get all the help that you need. Um, I wish I was there to be able to help you. Unfortunately, I'm in Florida.